Hey, I'm Mason Farr, the Education Manager here at the National Veterans Memorial Museum. This month, we're celebrating 75 years of the United States Air Force. Follow along with us each week as we celebrate their birthday and 75 years of Air Force history. We honor the United States Air Force for 75 years of dedicated service as a branch of the military. But the story of the Air Force begins long before it became an official branch in 1947. The Air Force traces its lineage back to the first gliders and airplanes produced by Orville and Wilbur Wright in Dayton, Ohio. There are many doubts that these aircraft could be an effective weapon in the military. Major George Owen Squire, the executive officer to the Army Signal Corps, pushed to create the United States Air Force by convincing the Army Signal Corps commander to establish the first heavier-than-air unit in 1907. Aircrew and pilots were pioneers in this new endeavor, and it was a dangerous profession. Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge was the first military member killed in an aircraft crash on September 17, 1908. Death during training and practice was not uncommon, but the perseverance of these airmen pushed the boundaries of this new branch. Flying aces like Eddie Rickenbacker captured the imagination of the American public, and with 26 enemy planes shot down, proved the worth of aerial combat. The years between World War I and World War II saw even greater advances in aircraft technology, with the first all-metal aircraft and mono-wing designs replacing the canvas and cloth biplanes. Bombing crews could strike directly at enemy production facilities, fighter pilots flew more powerful and complicated machines, and ground crews were required to keep both in operational shape. The creation of the Army Air Forces in 1941 made the Air Force its own separate branch within the Army and gave it the ability to pursue its own needs. During this time, the military began to see an expansion of roles for African Americans and women. The Tuskegee Airmen became the first African American military aviators when the 99th Pursuit Squadron was formed on March 19, 1941. The following year, the first women began flying for the military forming the Women Air Force Service Pilots in 1943. On September 18, 1947, the United States Air Force was formally established as its own independent branch of the military. With the new title, the innovation that defined the Air Forces for the previous half century did not stop. Over the years, air-to-air -air refueling was perfected, while radar intelligence and missile technology changed the working landscape for those serving in the Air Force. Thanks to the professionalism and dedication of all our members, no U.S. service member has been attacked by enemy aircraft since 1953. As we celebrate the Air Force's 75th birthday, let us remember where we came from to inspire us to reach even greater heights. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the United States Air Force. For more stories, visit us in person at our museum Wednesday through Sunday, or check us out online anytime.